Handy Hudsonite here. Are you having trouble updating to the latest firmware for your AirPods Pros or your AirPods 3? If you are having trouble getting to the most updated firmware, please watch this video. I'm going to give seven different steps that I've used that can help move this process along. Now again, there's no guarantees that this will work perfectly for every device as we don't have control over updating firmware in the AirPods. Now, firmware is what helps the AirPods to run optimally. There's constant updates that are happening software-wise between the AirPods and the device, particularly the iPhones. And Apple will, from time to time, update this firmware. Now, it should be seamless and automatic most of the time, but I recently ran into some issues with my AirPods Pros where I could not get the up the firmware updated. And so what I did is I, I have about seven different steps that I've done that enabled mine to, to update within about 10 to 30 minutes after doing these steps. Now, again, I can't guarantee that this will work for you, but it has helped a number of different people. And it is, it's something that you can do very easily. So what we do is and I'll use the AirPods Pros. This is the same for both the Pros and the AirPods 3. We want to forget the device. So as you can see, I have all my AirPods here at the top. I, I put a dot before all of these names. It's a little, a little hack for you to keep them up at the top of the list. Here's my AirPods Pros. It shows they're connected. I come over here, come down here, and I want to forget this device. So you would tap that to forget the, the device and then you would also want to reset these. And the way you reset it is you hold this button in the back for approximately 15 seconds until the, the color on the front would uh, go to an orange and then they would be completely reset. I won't do it because I don't want to reset my AirPods right now. And once your AirPods are reset, then what you want to do is repair them with your phone so if I repair them with my phone here, and I am using an older iPhone because I'm filming with my Air, my, I'm filming with my iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max for better quality. So I want to connect these back to my phone, the AirPods Pro. And once they're connected, what you want to do is just find some music and play some music for maybe two to five minutes. Uh, just to ensure that they are connected, working on your phone. And then after you do that, put the AirPods back in the case. And then what you want to do is plug your case in to the charger. Now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to also have your iPhone plugged in to the charger as well. And if possible, this is another little, I know it's hard with the way this, this sets. Um, if possible, keep the uh, keep the lid open on your case so that you can ensure that they are connected. Leave it there for a little while and, uh, and make sure also to close out the settings app. So just completely close it out like that. And after you uh, have this connected for a while with that settings app closed out, then again, go in and try to see if it's updated to the latest firmware. And if we go into mine here, we will see that it is at 4A402, which is the latest firmware at the filming of this video for AirPods Pro. Now you might ask, well, I don't have the Pros. What about AirPods 3? Well, the process is the exact same for the AirPods 3. And I'll show you that I have the most up-to-date firmware in mine. So we come over here. You see my version is 4B. 66 which is the latest version the previous version was 4b61 and i should say with the airpods pro the previous version was 4a400 so that's how you can easily make sure that your airpods pros or airpods 3 are updated to the most recent firmware let me know in the comments below if this worked for you or issues that you might still be having with getting the firmware updated and give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and check out all my other videos related to AirPods and other how-tos, and I'll see you in the next video.